different animals and their homes domestic and wild animals different types of animals live around us all of them have different eating habits and live in different types of homes some of these animals live with us at our homes and farms animals such as dogs horses cows goats sheep etc live close to us and are known as domestic animals animals such as lion tiger bear elephant etc that live in the forests are known as wild animals we cannot keep them with us as they may be dangerous they roam around freely in the forests some of them are also kept in the zoo eating habits some animals such as lion tiger wolf crocodile etc hunt other animals and eat their flesh these are called carnivores some animals such as buffalo elephant goat giraffe cow etc eat plants these are called herbivores some animals such as crow dog bear etc eat both plants and flesh of other animals also birds such as hen and parrot eat grains seeds and worms these are called omnivores animals such as lizards frogs chameleons etc eat insects some animals such as vultures and hyenas eat the flesh of dead animals these are called scavengers homes like humans animals also need a place to live deer elephants giraffes foxes etc live on land some animals live in special places a lion lives in a den or a cave monkeys and squirrels live on trees most birds live on trees they build their nests using twigs and grass some animals such as rats rabbits etc make burrows or holes in the ground to live termites and ants make termite mounds and ant hills some animals such as tortoises crocodiles fishes frogs etc live in water these animals are known as water animals humans make homes for pet or domestic animals we make sheds for cows and buffaloes we make kennels for dogs animals are also useful to us some domestic animals such as cow buffaloes etc help humans in agriculture some also give us eggs milk meat etc pet animals such as cats and dogs are our companions protection of animals wild animals are hunted to get their skin fur nails bones etc to make bags belts wallets and other items due to hunting and cutting of forests their number is continuously reducing to protect these animals the government has banned all hunting activities special protected areas such as national parks and wildlife sanctuaries have been developed where wild animals can roam freely without being killed